As a React Native developer, I know how important it is to have a high quality camera on your application. It improves the UI and the UX of the app itself, and also it makes it easy for users to interact with it and produce high quality products at the end. So that's why I'm a strong advocate for React Native Vision Camera. It is one of the best and most robust camera libraries that you have in React Native. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate React Native Camera, uh, vision, vision Camera, I mean, in your app. So if you're ready for this, let's go. One of the best ways to understand the library is to go through the documentation. So for example, here I have the React Native Vision Camera docs. So it has the getting started guide. So to install this library, you first off start by npmi react native vision camera if you're using react native CLI. But if you're using Expo, you have to say Expo install react native vision camera. So after you finish that, you have to update the manifest files. So if you're using Expo, you have to update the app.json file and it will be according to the spec here but if you're using react native CLI you have to update the info.plist if you're using for iOS and the Android, manif uh, Android manifest for Android so let's let me go through the code so like I said I'm gonna be using a react native CLI for this demo so the first thing you do you have to npm install or yarn add react native vision camera so while that's installing we have to go to your android directory so your android then you have to open up the app under app you want to open source under source here and open main and then you go to your android manifest so there you want to go and add this permission here you want to add the permission for the camera so that allow you to uh, take a photo using the app so it will also prompt the user to grant you permission to use uh, the photo feature and then next you have to go to the iOS folder. So I'm just going to close the Android folder. And then I'm at the iOS folder, open it up, go to the name of your app. In this case, it's called Miniface. Then go to the info.plist file. I have it open here now. So you have to go to the outermost dict. So here's the outermost dict here. And then we want to add this one item here which is NS camera usage description then they just gonna say that the camera requires um, the app requires use of the camera so this is also gonna be shown to the user so you can add any more inform information here in such a way that the user will allow you uh, usage of their camera so you can add more details here if your app is about taking photos of an ID or driver's uh, license just add some information that so that the user can know what what the access is for so cool so now that we're done with that I'll just go back here so right now I'm, I'm on my app.js the first thing that we gonna do like I said we it's important for you to request permission first and then in this case, we just gonna import a use effect, which is here. And then after that use effect, we're gonna use it here. So the use effect has an empty bracket here, which just means that it will run once when the app loads. So that means then when the app loads, this function over here will be run. 
What does the function do? The function requests permission. So we have const permission await camera request camera permission. This is a method which is coming from the React Native Vision Camera. So that means then we also have to import that as well. So what this does is that it, it simply it comes up with a it's a boolean or in fact like it will give you um, a request which says whether it's authorized or not authorized. So what, what this does is that like it will when the first when the app first loads the camera permission request will be shown to the user and then the user will uh, either accept or reject and then this will give you the status of that uh, interaction. So if the camera is denied, in this case, we're saying that it must go and open the settings screen so that you're giving them more chances to grant us use of their camera. So this, that's why here we're using React link, native linking. So that means then you have to import that linking as well. Linking is a way for you to go to different parts of the app from your app or go to, out, to other parts of this uh, system or without uh, having to get out of the app or to, like, manually. And then we simply run this get permission, which will run the function. And also it's async, hey, so because, uh, remember we have to await uh, both the camera permission and also when we're going to the setting screen. So we have to remember to make it an async function. So the next thing that we do now is that we are going to add a camera function. So, okay. So this is the main section which has the, the camera, which is here. So the first thing that you can see here, it, we have the reference to the camera. So the reference to the camera is first defined at the top of the function here. So we just simply have to take a reference of the camera and then the use ref, we have to import it from React. And then we initially uh, set it to null. Um, and if you're using TypeScript, you'll have to use camera here. So you have to put camera here. If I'm using TypeScript, in this case, this is just plain JS. I wanted to keep it simple. Um, and then the next thing that you have here, it's devices. So if I go back there, uh, the next thing you have here is devices. Okay, this one here is just the styling, it's devices. So devices is mainly, um, when you, we have this function, we have this uh, definition here, what this does, it looks at the phone and looks at what cameras are there in that device that you, your app is being run. And then, for example, you'll detect whether there are multiple cameras, what type of cameras are there, white camera. And then what else it does is that it will, it will, sh you can actually grab uh, information from there. For example, here we're saying that we want the back camera in the device. So that's what ha is happening here. That's why you have the, the device, which is defined here. And then we have this one, which says, show camera or is active is active can be true or false so typically what will happen is that you'll you want the camera to be active at certain times and then for example if you if the user logs out of the app or moves to another screen you have to switch off the camera so that you can save battery of the user and you can it will be a better experience um so that's why, that's why we have the is active. And then in this case, we simply have a hook here, which just asks, uh, it just notes whether like the camera is set to true or false. So the next thing that we have to do now is that we have to check, um, the last one is just, we have to say that it's a photo. So which is true in this case, because we're gonna be taking a photo. And then when you spin up the app right now, it will look like this. So simply have the app, which is uh, the video itself, and then a shutter button. So the styling for the shutter button 
is all defined here. So simply it's a so we simply have a tissue opacity whereby when you press on the camera button it will take a photo and then sets the camera to true and then uh, so let me just show you what do we have so once you once you press on the on the setup button the show camera will become false so that means that like now we're gonna get a preview of the app so once we get a preview of the photo you simply have an image here then this image will take the url of the photo so because once we take a photo a url will come up and then we simply take that url here and then we have to append it to this file with a double slash so this simply allows us to be able to preview the, the image so you must remember that because we're getting a, a, a photo path here, we have to actually use it in, in another way or otherwise when once the user closes the app, the, that path will actually disappear, it's temporary. Um, so after you preview the app, uh, the photo, you also have the option to go back or you can go you can use the photo or you can retake in this case all of them they take you back to take you back to the camera screen which you can actually take more photos so in the description there is another link to a repo whereby i'm using this app with firebase whereby once once i, I take a photo and uh, I can use that photo. I simply upload it to Firebase. If you're interested in that, uh, you want me to do another video with, with that, just let me know in the description. Otherwise, you can just simply go to the link down to the description and actually grab the code for that, which is um, it should be there. And also, you have you'll have the code to this as well uh, for free this time. Uh, it will also be in the description. So, so yeah, that's, that's about right about it. I'm gonna still make another tutorial whereby I actually code it from scratch. So in this case, it was more of like a, a showdown of how React Native Vision Camera works. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you're looking for more, please like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you are looking for. Cool. Have a great one, y'all. Cheers.